going to try to do this really, really fast. Um, so we are done for the day. Right, Badia? You got one more walkie walk? You got to see all your friends. You got to play with your wolfy friends. Yeah. He loves the wolves. Um, mommy not gets a little nervous sometimes. <laughs> I do. They're huge. Huge. Um, <laughs> and they're usually good, but the boys, if there is an unaltered dog, even if it's a young one and stuff, it just changes the dynamic and the boys want to play extra rough and who's the boss and who's going to own that puppy. And it gets a little wild. Yeah. God, what, Malachi is like three times your size. <sighs> He's like over. 50, 60% wolf. Mal Malamute, so I think German Shepherd mix. He is huge. <sighs> um, <sighs> the owners laugh. They're like, your dog is such a, <laughs> such a troublemaker. And I'm like, yeah, he waits, checks his butt, can't get it. That's why I'm always nervous. It's like, but they, everyone actually gives me a lot of like respect as a husky owner. Um, and it, why I let him be so loud and stuff. They know his story about having his mouth tied shut. So we have a good group of people. I do have amazing people that are, have been so amazing and helpful from the dog park that look out for us. Um, people that I'm volunteering with the food pantry. Like, I'm actually making real friends here. And I usually do everywhere I go. Usually old hippies and, like, some, like, other, you know, people or whatever. Um, festival -y, the young hippie crowd, too. Um, this is the baby. So I haven't been doing a lot of YouTube videos, um, because I've been really busy. Uh, I do have a PCP now. I'm actually surprised she's a young nurse practitioner or something. Um, and she's young, she's pretty, and, but she's extremely knowledgeable. I was very impressed. Um, she was actually kind of really excited when I said I, that she could like be my PCP. It was actually really nice. Um, so I did a 24-hour urine analysis. I dropped off my urine today. Uh, yeah, just nothing like having a gallon of piss in the fridge. Um, but that's to check my cortisol levels and stuff. There's endocrinology um, referrals out. Uh, um, there's some other stuff. There's actually a concern. I might actually have lupus, which is, I, I don't know. I do have the butterfly rash, definitely. Uh, it, was, it wasn't rosacea. I thought it was eczema and just broken capillaries from stress at one point. Um, wasn't a big deal, but my immune system is pretty good, especially because I've had MRSA, so I don't know, but I do have Reynolds, um, which actually has gotten a lot better, but <sighs> I don't know. That, that's an easy one they said to rule out when I go back on the 12th, but yeah, I'm going to need to do the urine in, then I'm going to need to do a saliva test. It's going to have to be ordered directly from the endocrinologist. This is for Cushing's. Um, I have an appointment at five tonight for hopefully ADHD medication. <laughs> I don't know. Um, so that's going to be, I don't know. It's if other stuff came through, he's limited to what he can prescribe. He, there's nobody thinks I don't need Adderall. I, I need to get off my Xanax or anything. Nobody thinks that, but liability and all this stuff. I'm not red flagged. Uh, but when you're starting a new relationship and stuff, I guess with a client, you need to have something on record, um, a diagnosis or whatever else. So, yeah, I'm hoping that that comes through. Um, yeah, but so much stuff. Then I'm dealing with this crazy landlady, yet again, another landlord. So when I moved in, um... You're supposed to report problems. Like, it's part of what you sign for in your lease. So, when I move in, I start to notice in the bathroom that, especially it was after they resurfaced the tub, um, that the floor was, like, bubbling and coming up. And I was like, this is weird. And then, like, they put caulk down and it was bubbling out, which was really weird. So, there's there's a leak in the wall. And we, we've known this. So, I'm like, okay, it's coming up. It's coming, oh, no, 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 it's not coming up. They just, like, put it back down. They don't even glue it or whatever. Okay. Um, then I realized there's two layers of vinyl because it just keeps coming up, it keeps coming up, it keeps coming up. Then there's mold and the wood is completely rotted. She starts threatening me, puts a 10 day notice on my door, but back post dates it or predates it back from July. And this is in October. Um, I'm like, what the fuck? And, uh, I talked to a lawyer, a lawyer said, you need to keep track of this. Like this is, this is not right. Um, and I mean, that was, and then she tries to bill me and th this is extortion. This is not landlord, tenant, civil dispute. That is extortion. 
Um, and uh, it's absolutely crazy. But now it gets better. I've been talking to my neighbor who is directly next to me. Um, she's a nurse, so I don't really see her very much. She was reporting the smell of mold and this stuff before I ever moved in, before, before the floors were ever done. Um, she said she's gotten into it with her before about a lot of stuff. Um, so, yeah. Um, hi, baby. But, yeah, this, this is pretty wild. What's, like, been going on? Um, but, I mean, the extent that this was taken to to hide... A major issue I'm not letting it go and then she keeps adding all these crazy fees I have my garbage I, the garbage never gets picked up you go to bring you know one bag of garbage a week that I pay $40 a month for trash is overflowing dog shit everywhere like I'm just I'm tired and the fact that you can't even come and fix the floor I got to go fix and shit myself and keeping track of everything this is no way to live my heat went out she comes banging at my door with a guy who's not EPA certified truck and I was like you're not coming to my apartment Kinsey I was like none of you have any business here I'm like he's not certified she's like I don't have to tell you if he's certified I'm like well you got to tell somebody because you're not coming to my apartment and I said there's I kept saying there's gas I'm like you are not coming in in here you have no business to come in here they don't by law and I'm like you're gonna try to come in here and tell me that there's no problem when there's a problem and I'm not gonna have heat for weeks and you're gonna threaten me because that's what you've already done before and sure enough, Xfinity comes later that night. There's a gas leak. He can't even smell it. Um, but as soon as he put the meter on, he's like, wow, you have a good nose. I'm like, yep. And, I, and he's like, why would your landlady come there without, like, why didn't they call us earlier? Yep. And then, um, then the next day, the other guy, and he gave me his card. He's like, you have any problems? He's like, I will say that they had no business being there. And he's friends with one of the maintenance guys. Yep. It was dangerous. It was dangerous for the guy to be messing with something like this when he's not trained and qualified. It is illegal. And if he gets hurt, you think this company is going to like have his back and stuff? No, they're going to be like, oh, well, you weren't licensed. Oh, that's exactly what's going to happen. Um, you don't make enough money to put for that. Yeah, yes, I had a gas leak um, and a broken heater. And I had this little knock banging at my door threatening me or whatever. I'm like, you have no business coming in. Um, yep. And I had an ADA accommodation, so she really shouldn't have been there because she had no business being there. Um, yeah, I, I stick up for myself. When you have enough shit, you have enough shit. Um, so, yeah. Uh, but, yeah, I, I just, it's been, it's been crazy. There are some nice things about this place, honestly. But if your dog doesn't want to go in the bathtub, which he used to love to hang in in the summer because now that it's snow and stuff... And it's not drying up and he can he doesn't want to be near the mold dogs know um it's not black mold because i took a test but i have to find all that stuff but um i think mold any mold can turn into black mold or something other people have black mold they've shown me pictures of and stuff um but it's you know it's not worth the headache it's not worth the constant harassment i have to worry about my dog getting sick every time we walk because these people they don't clean up dog shit their jardy has been going around there's a uh, foxes with mange uh distemper or rabid raccoons like it's wild and in part because of this garbage situation fucking crazy um and yeah it's just not worth the headache the last place i'm still dealing with that i got a meeting with an investigator i just been asking him to postpone i'm like i am so close to getting back on like adhd medication can we please like wait this stresses me out which makes me even more of a freaking discombobulated, you know, rage, ranting, like, mess, like, and hopefully that's done, but again, I hope this happens tonight, because I did everything on my end, I took the drug test, I got the ROIs, I tried everything that they said, the one place would not email me the documents, um, they said it was a HIPAA violation, I don't think that that is true, but I tried, and I couldn't drive out to Colorado Springs to pick it up, um, if I had it mailed to me, oh, I got to go through a process of paying for it. I wouldn't have gotten it in time. So it's been kind of a headache. Um, oh, I actually have a message from the psychiatrist. But but I've been working on all this mental, physical health. I have a crown I got to get fixed. Um, I have the temporary crown on. They ordered the crown, but I wanted to get my car fixed before I did that. And that's been a process. I was there Saturday to match the paint. The guy paid, you know, all the damages and stuff. Like every, everything's like good, but it's like I have so much fucking going on. 
um, in a very freaking fragile, discombobulated state. And there's so many people like wasting my time and causing me more stress. Um, yeah, I'm supposed to have an advocate and stuff. And they're like, oh, well, like, I'm like, you talk to this woman behind my back. You come back with this lunacy. You don't hear a fucking word I'm saying. You want to talk to her behind my back. And then I got to deal with her becoming more abusive. She's like stalking me. Um, I'm like, you're creating a situation. You need to mediate now because I'm not okay with this. Um, and they just blow me off and it's like, you know, meetings and the girl is like my coordinator or whatever. She's like fresh out of college and stuff. I, I'm not trying to be a bitch or mean or whatever, but I don't, this, she is not qualified to deal with this level of fucking bullshit. Like I keep saying, I need a lawyer or an advocate. I need a lawyer or an advocate. I need a lawyer or an advocate. Like what? She doesn't have any, know anything. Um, one minute they're like getting me out of the lease and helping with that. And the next minute they're not. And I'm like, what the fuck? Like, are you kidding me? Get me someone who knows what the fuck they're doing. Like, don't make me be a bitch. I will. Like, I'm, I'm tired of it. Like, I don't need this. Um, like I said, I'm not talking to the landlady. I'm like, you guys can mediate because you're talking to her behind my fucking back and it's getting worse. Um, I don't know what's going on. So other people are like, what, what, what's going on? I'm like, well, I'm going to keep, I, oh, I emailed like 10 people from the agency. They, they try to be all private. Oh, I'll figure, I'll find it out. Um, I go on the like people that work name and I try to find their emails with the company, but whatever email I could find. Oh, I will, I will do what I have to do. I will get through to people. Um, because this ain't, this isn't right. <sighs> I don't know. I, like, this whole move was just such a shit show. So much was put on me. I was so traumatized from living in that trap house. Like, oh, my God. It's not like I didn't ask to leave. Like, just so everyone knows. I wanted money and help um, to get an another RV. That Like, I was just like, anything's better than this. Anything's better than this. And they promise you things, and then they don't come through. So that, that's always fun. They're shitty people. They're just scared. You don't deserve anything. Um, a lot of it is, like, you know, uh, people should not be housed without treatment, treatment. Um, even if they're like alcoholics, like, you know, alcoholics really don't bring other people down if they keep to the, if they're violent in domestic violence situations. Yeah. I know that alcohol is a big factor and stuff. I've seen the statistics for that, but that's not really not what goes on in a lot of these, um, housing subsidized things, whatever permanent support housing to whatever, um, subs that these things are. And, um, like, an old drunk deserves to die in a warm bed. Like, I'm not, whatever. It's the fucking fentanyl and the meth and the chaos and all that stuff that it, you can't have. Like, treatment first with that. And it would be nice if these alcoholics could at least get to a point where they're not pissing and shitting themselves because they're drinking too much. I don't think that would change a lot of situations and the health of the people and the people, you know, surrounded by it. Uh... Which is just so, you know, it, it's hard. Um, but yeah, treatment first is a huge thing. And you know what? This is society's most vulnerable. They're just being exploited as they're acting like they care. Um, people are making money, big money, off of the homeless, all through CFHA, CFHA, yeah, Community Colorado finance housing authority or something um they do a lot of tax credits dola has grants um they're getting them from like centura health and stuff like these are massive grants and stuff they don't abide by the terms of their contracts and stuff um it's 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 horrible overdoses left and right um no it, it, more people um are dragged down than get help um yeah it's just very bad um treatment first i mean the people deserve it uh you know, what's the point? Like, it's, you, it's unsustainable. Like, freaking drug addicts and stuff, especially with this fentanyl and the meth. Oh, God, they literally rip, like, the kitchen sink out. Um, they rip the ceilings apart. Like, they can't be housed. Like, they're, they're like, feral animals. I don't know. How, I know that doesn't sound very nice, but it's the truth. Um, you know, they, they want to use the excuse, excuse lizard, lizard brain or whatever. Well, um... So they're, they don't, their chances of, of remaining housed are, are really slim to none. So treatment first. Yeah. Like they deserve a fair fucking shot. Um, crazy. Nobody can stay sober in those places. Like, it's terrible. Um, 
there's not the support services and everything else. It's just, it's just horrible. Treatment first, treatment first, treatment first. Like, seriously, if you're a good person, treatment first. If you're someone who wants to exploit homeless people and pretend you're a good person and you're profiting on the side, mm. but yeah. So this is why the housing problem is, you know, many aspects. I'm here as someone who's kind of lived a lot of this from both ends speaking up and nobody wants to listen to me. Um, but like, hey, I'd probably do a lot more than a lot of people you work for. Um, and I could do it part time so I don't fuck up all my benefits right now. Um, no, you need to listen to live people. It's a real thing. And not every lived person is, you know, um, someone who is, I hate to be like so judgmental. I don't judge people for being poor and uneducated. I shouldn't be judged for because it comes with its own obstacles like a lot of people never know what it what it could be i know what it could be i grew up in an, like i guess upper middle class um got to travel to other countries had a good education never went hungry in ground pool i had my own bathroom growing up um like i got to do sports and all sorts of activities and stuff like i know that i'm fortunate i come from you know better than a lot of people doesn't mean that it's less doesn't it doesn't mean that i think i'm better than anyone but it doesn't all mean that you get to deny you know you can't help where you come from that that works in every aspect having and then having less and being around people all the drugs and the um you know it's frustrating like i don't it, i don't understand i'm a fish out of fucking water like i don't understand why these people don't get this oh well they're uneducated and they're generations of like you know living off of gov government benefits and not having access to a good education. Um, and, you know, I don't fault them for that. So I shouldn't be faulted for who I am. Um, now, I'm actually, I could probably be, it would probably be a lot worse if when I did have, I didn't realize, like, I had anxiety and stuff and I just wanted to, like, downsize life and stuff and I got into the yurts and all that stuff and backpacking, so I was kind of, like, ready for this to some extent. It's probably the only reason why I'm still standing, but uh, well, no, I mean, baby is the only reason I'm still standing. Like, anytime I think about, like, fucking just blowing my fucking brains out, I'm like, what about him? What about him? What about him? But, yeah. Um, things are really hard. I'm tired of having like to defend myself and who I am uh no I'm like the ultimate fight freaking like feminist I'm here on my own fighting for my independence trying to get up speaking truth to power you know standing up for other people and trying to change things and stuff and I'm like literally not gonna put up with any more shit from anyone like hear me out Listen to the words coming out of my mouth. I'm a smart woman. I've lived it. I'm tired of being freaking treated like whatever. I might come off a certain different way, but I'm also from New York. We do talk faster than other people. We don't take a lot of shit. We're a little rougher around the edges because we get it done. But like, um, you have no idea what I've been through. Don't test me. We are not the same. Um... And yeah, like just because I'm traumatized and stuff doesn't mean that the validity of my words are any different. Like, yeah, I could be high strung, I could be whatever, but listen to my fucking words. Look at the fucking evidence. Look at all this. Stuff. Like my lawyer with the freaking commander cock text. He was like, why didn't I have these? I was like, because the lawyer before you was a fucking idiot. And then I was like, did did with Jen and cock and Duncan and all this stuff. And I was like, this is all on record, Mike. Like, what are we doing here? And, uh, I don't, I don't know. I give him a hard time. My lawyer has gone out of his way for me. Um, he has. Uh, they want to, like, kind of really push the mental health thing or whatever. But I'm competent. Like, I'm traumatized. Yes. Um, I have hypervigilance. Yes. But these people treated me like shit. They are the reason why I have trauma. I had a confidential informant sicked on me. Like a bulldog. A woman. When, they should, when she needed help, probably, and stuff, they were, like, this woman was, like, mooning, like, children as she was harassing me. Like, there was a school full of, at the Waldorf on West Beach Jew Street in Colorado Springs. There was a school full of children on recess, and this woman is chasing me down, mooning me in front of children. 
Why is Gregory Duncan and Commander Cock protecting pet? That's a freaking sex offender. That is a predator. Sex, like, that's not legal. Um, oh my god. Yeah, to, because, all because they screwed up by listening to Orange County and Orange County threatened my life, told me to stay to California. This is all documented. But yeah, dealing with all of that for being the victim of a crime, by the way. Yes. MRSA, hysteroscopy. Yeah, it was fun. It was fun. But I, I dare stand up. I dare, you know, tell the truth. How dare I have intelligence? I'm a woman. I need to just shut up and stay in my fucking lane. Yep, that, that's, that's how I've been treated. I'm not going to be treated by so-called liberals and these fucking identity politic freaks when I am literally everything you're supposed to be all about. But I really don't care. I don't need you. I don't need stupid pronouns. I am who I am. We should be judged by our actions, not how we feel one day. Um, now, I'm also somebody, if, it, if somebody presents as female, like, I don't freak out if they're in the bathroom. Um, she is fine. It's not, um, if there's kind of in the middle, I, uh, I'll ask or whatever um, if it makes somebody happy and feel good. Like, what? But don't force it on me. Don't be ridiculous. Um, don't take it too far. It's not who you are. Um, it's, it's just kind of stupid. It's like, I just think people are so much more than, like, their pronouns. Um, they're who they sleep with. Like it's, it's kind of getting to a point. It's like ridiculous. Um, but try having ADHD and filling out all this paperwork and there's all these stupid fucking questions. Take that into consideration. Yeah. And then they keep adding them. They keep adding them. I just sit there and go, what the fuck? Just like put prefer not to answer at the first or male, female at the first, please, please. Cause it's not fair to people with ADHD. You're discriminating against the disabled. It's, it's, but this is the world we live in. The, they, people worry about the stupidest stuff. And the real stuff doesn't matter. And is it by design? I don't know. I want to deal with all my court shit. I have another country that I want to move to. Hopefully within the next couple of years. Badia is going to fucking love it. We still have to go to India. But we're obviously not going to live in the jungles of Ramashwaram. Very long with a Siberian husky. Um, but I hate America. Um, our justice system is a joke. There's a civil war within the next 10 years is inevitable. Um, just it doesn't have the values that I have. Um, the way we treat our criminal justice system, um, the way we treat prisoners, the way we treat people, um, our whole financial thing, our health system. Like America ain't shit anymore. It's just not. Um, the nepotism, the idiots running things, the way they can't manage budgets and stuff. It is infuriating. It is sad. It is the the corporations running our food supply. Fuck no. I found countries that meet um are with my in my values. They're very husky friendly. So that's in the goal and stuff. Um in the five year plan or whatever. So yeah. Um actually brushing up on some new languages. Uh so yeah, hopefully. I love sweaters. So yeah, definitely gonna be high altitude. Oh, show. Um, but yeah, I got a lot to take care of. I, whatever you think of me, however I come off with my issues or whatever, um, I'm a good fucking person. You know, it would be a lot easier and less stressful. I may be a little more articulated and in one direction if other people stepped up and grew a pair because it's fucking hard. But, you know, I'm fucking awesome. I made it this far. Uh, statistically, I should be... Uh, hooked on drugs, not, completely agoraphobic, not leaving the house, in a horrible domestic violence relationship with a couple of kids, you know, perpetuating um, cycles of trauma. Um, but I'm not. Um, still standing, still fighting, summiting the highest mountain peaks in the country with my freaking dog I found on the street in California. Uh, yeah, so what did you do today? Oh, feeding my community, all other sorts of stuff. Um, furthering my education, fighting for justice. Um, yeah. What, what'd you do today? Be kind, be real. Grow a bear.